I woke up this morning with this feeling of certainty that the winter is coming to an end. It's snowing today. It's a very light snow and it snowed all day yesterday to you, but it's such a light snow. It's like it can't really build up very much very quickly. And I realized that this might be our last good snow day of the winter. Thank you very much. That's a big one. Who's making those? I don't know. That's a big one. It's such a relief to know that the winter is almost over, but we also have the luxury in our off-grid life to really grab onto this day and make the most of it and spend time appreciating the silence and quiet and peace of a snowy landscape before the spring comes and starts to make things go. So I guess one thing that this uh, lifestyle has afforded us is time to pay attention and not let things uh, go unnoticed. So it's always nice to just get outside with the kids and see where they want to go and what they want to do. And you gonna show me? Um, I don't think we would have found that kind of freedom another way. Yet. It looks great. What the hell? Stella, let's make snowman sleep all over. Snowman It's snowy dust all over. Not snowman. We can't because it smells too puttery. That's a huge angel. Now mine has a pretty dress. A man and a girl. Women and Well, they all wear dresses. I don't know why. And there could be a footprint print pattern at the rim. Are you eating a snowman nose? That one's a snowman nose. What's that one? This one was gonna be a snowman nose, but we decided it was too powdery. So now it's a Sadie snack? Mm-hmm. Ah, it's 
more like it. Faster, 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 faster! You're really right into the bars. Oh, let's go. My little friend, it wasn't good. Yeah. Well, you're going to have to force it down there a couple of times and then... Sadie, don't walk the whole way. There you go, Stella. Well, the Fouch family does work hard, but let it also be known that we are good at resting. On this day, Nick did one tiny repair on his big chair, which of course he designed and upholstered himself many years ago. And Esther put up 14 pints of chicken broth, which is something, but it left a great deal of time for resting. We find that if we just go and go as homesteaders, we lose touch of the very thing we came out here for, which is to enjoy the precious moments of our ordinary life. Good night, little house.